In this tutorial, we're going to look at using dynamics with particle systems. So first, I'm going to start with a simple example. I'm going to go to simulate particles and create an emitter. This creates a simple emitter. If I play back the animation, we can see these particles getting emitted. If we want to use an object instead of the particles, we can do so. So I'm going to create a sphere change the radius to 10 and then I'm going to make this a child of the emitter and I'm going to click emitter and choose show objects so now we can see that the particles are spheres and it's very simple to add a dynamics tag to this so I'm just going to click on emitter tags simulation tags rigid body if I play this back uh, we get an unexpected result basically the emitter falls down so to prevent this, we want to go to inherit tag, apply tag to children, and then set individual elements to all. And now when we play this animation back, um, we get the result we're looking for, basically spheres getting emitted and then gravity pulling them down. So if I create a floor object and add a simulation tag to it, I've got a shortcut here. We can see the balls um, bouncing off the ground. So lastly, I'm going to show you a slightly more complicated example. Uh, you might want to use something other than an emitter, maybe something in Expresso, like a particle storm. So I'm going to create a null. I'm going to add an Expresso tag. Opens up the Expresso editor. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to new node thinking particles TP generator and I'm going to choose P storm so this is just basically a different type of particle system so it's looking for an emitter position so I'm just going to drag and drop the null in there and I'm going to link the particle emitter position to the nulls position so coordinates global position for the null and I'm just going to link these two so basically particles are emitted from the null. Next, um, I'm going to look for t thinking particles standard shape. I need a thinking particles TP standard P group. So basically, as soon as the particles are born, um, if you go to the thinking particle settings under simulate thinking particles thinking particle settings basically um, I've got the panel snapped here but uh, when particles are created they belong to a group so in this case all it's just something Cinema 4D does so basically when these particles are born so I'm going to choose particle birth for the output on PStorm I want to pass them to the all group And we can actually create subgroups and other groups, but um, this is a very simple example. So just all you have to know is that when a particle is born, it belongs to the uh, all group. Next, I'm going to hook up this P shape. So I'm just going to draw a line from particle birth to P shape. And this is basically how we're going to define a shape for the emitter, because it's not as simple as the standard emitter. So I'm going to create the sphere again. Set the radius to 10 and I want to use this object. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to drag and drop my sphere into the P shape uh, node. So when I play this back, nothing happens. So basically when you're using PStorm, Cinema 4D will not show any kind of um, object linked to the particle until you create particle geometry. So I'm going to create a particle geometry and you can see the particles now. And I'm going to, it's looking for a particle group. So I'm going to go to thinking particles and drag and drop the all group into there. So basically without this, you won't see anything. It's just something Cinema 4D does. And uh, these spheres are quite large. So I was basically playing with this um, P shape node here and we've got the bounding radius, which is a sort of a strange property. It seems to control the size as well indirectly. So I'm going to set that to 12. 
and those particles look a bit more manageable. So same as before, if we want these to react to uh, gravity, we want to apply the dynamics tag to the particle geometry. So I'm just going to go to tags, simulation tags, rigid body, play it back. So it's the same problem as before. We need to go to apply tag to children and set individual elements to all. And now we've got the dynamics applied to the particles being created. And I can move this, actually no, that's the particle geometry. I'm going to move up the null. And now it's emitting from over here. I'm going to create a floor object. Let's drop it down. Give it a simulation tag. And we're creating particles using a different method, PStorm. And using dynamics on them. So this method's a bit more complicated, but um, it's kind of worth knowing. And it's a very simple uh, Expresso setup. So I hope that wasn't too complicated. If you find this tutorial useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.